Mm, whoa, this is the good stuff. It is great. Huh? <coughs> what the? Charlie, you, you poisoned my wine? But, but when? You seem surprised, Mr. Yusupov. You, how could you? How could I not? I've sacrificed years of my life studying and reflecting to prepare myself for this position. And in the end, I even had to poison my own teacher. You really think I'd put myself through all that just to become your little puppet? I don't want to bow down to anyone ever again. And that includes you. You imbecile. It's the Fatui who got you to where you are. Do you understand? If I disappear with no explanation, the embassy will come after you. They'll get to the bottom of this. Mark my words. Do you see the haystack in the corner? Underneath it is a pile of explosives. And next door in the dark room are the three undercover agents you sent to infiltrate the Black Cliff Forge. I'm gonna stay here till I see you slip into unconsciousness. Then I'm gonna set this on fire. Once the flames burn through the hay, they'll ignite the explosives, the ruins will collapse, and everything will be buried. Wow. He re turned 180 from someone that maybe was blackmailed to actually be the true villain of this story. What? What do you hope to? I took the liberty of leaving some evidence of your contact with the undercover agents at the Black Cliff Forge. It won't take long for people to join the dots. Two missing person cases will become one as the truth gradually reveals itself. The Fatui planted undercover agents in the Black Cliff Forge to steal their signature ruin grade explosives. Their plan was to blow through the solid floor tiles in the dead of night and seize the treasure of Ching Shu Pool. Ah, but things didn't quite go to plan. Mistakes were made that led to the accidental deaths of the entire crew. Faced with the overwhelming evidence, the Embassy won't investigate this any further. In fact, They'll be only too happy to blame it all on a rogue operation by you. It explains why you acted alone, while exonerating the rest of the Embassy of any liability. Of course, none of that will have anything to do with me. When all of this comes to my attention, I'm afraid I'll have no choice but to cancel the Ching Shu Pool redevelopment plan immediately. I guess then, I'll be Tian Shu in my own right, with a clean record and well out of the Fatui's reach. <laughs> Cherry, do you really think you're gonna get away with this? The Fatui has a record of everything. That includes the poison, all interactions between us, even my trip here tonight. After I die, they'll come looking, and they'll get to the bottom of this. A record? Oh. You must mean the one in the hands of your second-in-command, Theophon. Huh? How... how do you know about that? Because when you contacted me, I also made contact with your associates. I have Theophon to thank for providing me with the poison I used on you today. He'll help me tie up all the loose ends. After all, your untimely demise comes with a few perks for him. He has been eyeing your position for a long time now. That traitor! <coughs> Chur Yi, you! Shh, 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 shh. Relax. It's over. After tonight, everyone gets what they want. And anyone else in the know is either my accomplice or about to be taken out of the picture. Sweet dreams. Mr. Yusupov.
I did a little surveying on the way here and found that you'd left yourself three escape routes in case things went south. I have them all surrounded. If you're thinking of trying anything, save yourself the effort. The game's up. We were here the whole time and have pictures of everything. They came out pretty nicely. Want to see them? The game's up? Forgive me, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to, Miss Yelan. I happened to discover a Fatui operation here, so I approached them on the pretext of joining forces and eventually brought them down from within. If it pleases you, Miss Yelan, I'd be only too happy to have you join me in investigating this matter. This is how you want to play it, huh? Fine. You do you. All we need to do to convict you is establish that the poison in his system is the same as in Uncle Tien's. <sighs> hmm. Nothing else you wanted to add? Let's leave it there then. Time to go. One wrong move and it all comes crashing down. I should have been more careful. You followed him here, didn't you? I was so focused on keeping myself out of sight, I forgot he was a potential liability. Let's talk about this, Yelan. I gave you my word that I would live up to the Tian Shu name, and that much I can still guarantee. <laughs> Your point being? When I take office, I can guarantee that I will act in your best interests. In fact, all of you here tonight can expect very generous treatment in the future. I don't deny that I used underhanded methods to get here. But given my lowly origins, what other choice did I have? <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? Even now. What do you think? Exactly. Jury. Clever people can always come up with a good excuse. But while you might be able to get other people to believe you, you'll never be able to deceive yourself. There's nothing wrong with wanting to win other people's respect, but when has Uncle Tian ever looked down on you? He was like a teacher and a father to you, but you chose to repay that by poisoning him. Whatever positive goal you may have started out with, you threw it away in that moment. That's enough. I... Of course. What makes this even crueler is that you managed to convince yourself there was no other way. Uncle Tien was always going to give you this opportunity. Even if you'd done nothing at all. Out of everyone in the world, he is the one who trusts you the most. So much that he drank your fish soup without doubting you, not for one second. That's enough. That's enough. Oof. Life is like fishing. Ooh, cut you. Be rushed. Whatever you do, impatience will accomplish nothing. I was just like you once, desperate to prove myself. Only later did I realize things do not always turn out the way you plan. But you have to keep calm to carry on. You're still young. Be patient. Believe in yourself, and don't look outside yourself to prove your value. <coughs> Where's Jury these days? It's been a long time since he last paid me a visit. <laughs> Maybe he's just busy. <laughs> well, next time, if he doesn't bring a pot of piping hot fish soup, don't let him in. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you were thinking about, you'll have plenty of time to mull it over in prison. Oh, I almost forgot. If the Fatui find out what happened today, prison might not turn out to be the safest place for you. Trying to have friends on both sides, it has a way of turning everyone against you. But right now, I have an opportunity for you. Huh? Sorry, things are about to get extremely busy for me. Let's meet at Yenshang Tea House tomorrow morning. Okay, I want to say this. Why do they keep giving most of the cinematic cutscenes for the NPC and not for the character? I mean, it still was kind of, but 
again, the NPC kind of going to blend together. And, oh, yeah, this character existed for this quest only. But I don't know how they make or how they work the soy. Even be the side soy or the main one. I'll have someone remove the explosives. Then there's someone I have to go and see. Need our help with that? No, it could be dangerous. You should leave this one to the professionals. Don't worry. As long as they're willing to cooperate, this'll be a straightforward deal. Get some rest. See you tomorrow. Ah, there is now no poison left in his system. Oh, hey, but recovery Baiju. from the damage already done will not happen overnight. Dr. Baiju, is my father going to be... <sighs> you needn't worry too much. Keep taking the prescribed medicine every day, and a full recovery will take at most two to three years. It's good we caught it in time. A few days later and the toxin would have built up in the internal organs. At that point, things would have been much more serious. How long did he poison him? How did they successfully secure such a seldom seen poison? It seems the Fatui are extremely resourceful. Unfortunately for them, they were up against us. Do the snake cut this sounds a little different and I can wait for this haircut to be playable. Uncle Tian will be heading off now. Remember to get plenty of rest and avoid overexerting yourself while you're recovering. Don't worry, I will. Thank you very much. Ah, you're here too? Thank you for all you've done to resolve this situation. And I'll have to make some tea in a moment. You simply have to try it. Yes, the exhaustion seems to have gone. and My mind is steadily getting clearer again. Luckily, it looks like choosing the Tian Shu's successor is suddenly not such a pressing issue after all. My work is mostly wrapped up, so I thought I'd take a minute to check in here. The assessment process comes to an end here, Uncle Tian. In my opinion, Jiri is not suitable for the position. But Chen Wei and Mingbo both have potential. You have my gratitude. <sighs> People can change their loyalties easily. I've always known this. But whenever it happens, it's still a dismal experience. Is it just Paimon? Or is Uncle Tian not that surprised? <laughs> Don't underestimate Uncle Tian. He wouldn't have appointed me as assessment officer if he hadn't had his doubts about Jur E. Normally, the Yue High Pavilion would be responsible for assessing the candidates. Isn't that right, Uncle Tian? Yes, to be quite honest, I wanted to trust him unreservedly, but I have to be responsible with the position of Tian Shu. When I first met Juri, I wondered if he had approached me with a hidden agenda, so I secretly investigated him. I concluded that he had no ulterior motives whatsoever. He just saw me as an ordinary fishing friend. In the end, even he changed. But when did it start? I never had any plans to recommend him directly, but I always intended to give him the chance to compete on a level playing field. Family background and fame mean everything to many people, but I don't attach great importance to them. I had no reputation to speak of when I first became Tian Shu. I relied on Ganyu's assistance for all manner of things. <laughs> what I really admired about Juri 
was his intelligence and resilience. I have to admit, he's a smart guy, and very cautious. The intel suggests that the Fatui saw him as very low risk, but jur -E was still extremely careful with the poisoning. He chose that specific liquor from Shinue Kiosk because the fiery flavor would mask the bitterness of the poison, and he chose to wait until the Fatui official was drunk and had his guard down before delivering it to him. He also installed a secret compartment in the wine pot he bought to hold the poison. As the amount of liquor went down, he'd shake the pot to release the poison from the compartment into the liquor. Afterwards, we also found he had an antidote on him. Had the Fatui official grown suspicious, jur -E would have drunk the poisoned wine himself and then found an opportunity to take the antidote shortly afterwards. But that's still really dangerous. Yes. Had he drunk the poisonous wine, he still would have faced serious health consequences despite taking the antidote. He didn't hesitate to put himself in harm's way to achieve his goal. Wait, do you know what he drank from that? A little? Like in the beginning scene? How is Jerry now? In prison. Well, I mean, he's sitting in a jail cell. Like Yenfei says, everyone who breaks the law has to pay the price. Still, he's cooperating. He didn't turn down my offer to strike a deal. I'll make sure there are plenty of guards around to keep him safe from anything the Fatui might be planning. A deal? Does this have to do with what you said to him when you arrested him? Yes, Jury's not the one I'm interested in. If he was as far as this went, I'd have handed the case off to my subordinates as soon as I realized. But once the Fatui became involved, things got a whole lot more interesting. I thought I might have the chance to catch a big fish. The Fatui are like the always the bad people. Like they are the only bad people. Aside from Teza holders that that the minions or something. Well, did you? Almost. Unfortunately, it slipped off the hook at the last second. Uncle Tian, Yeon, what are you talking about? Paimon doesn't understand. Jur E colluded with the Fatui to try and secure the position of Tian Shu. Or, to put it the other way around, the Fatui made an attempt to interfere in the Tian Shu selection process. With Yusupov in our hands and a statement from Jur E, we could afford to continue with a diplomatic offensive. Also, we'd be able to gain control of Theophon, Yusupov's second-in-command. Then we'd have a pawn in the ranks of the Fatui. Pawns like this can be major assets. They open up all sorts of new options. Not to think about it, I feel it says now we're gonna be like wanted criminals or something like that. Because I bet the Fatui are seen like heroes in their home and we are the bad guys. Although that's gonna be a long wait. We still have to wait for Sumio. <laughs> Why else did you think I was investing so much time and effort into this case? So, okay, well, did your plan succeed? We got halfway. The first part went off without a hitch, and we passed all the information on to Lady Ningguang. But when we tried to make contact with Theophan, he was gone, along with all the evidence. Uh, the Fatui must be spying on us. Otherwise, they've never been able to respond so quickly. I found out from other sources that the Harbinger Regrader got involved. The whoa, Fatui's whoa. main forces aren't concentrated here. Regrader was only treating this as a peripheral concern. Regrader? Regrader? Please be a cinematic Well, he is a reveal or something, please. It's a pity that Theophon got away, but knowing which Harbingers are still looking at Liyue is something. It gives me a starting point for my next mission. I have to ask, Yelan. Do you have any desire to take over the position of Tianshu yourself? I remember you showed some interest a few days ago at Yenshang Tea House. In my estimation, you are more than competent. Oh, that. <laughs> I was obviously joking. I prefer my current life. There's danger and there's excitement. Although it'd still be a behind-the-scenes role, as Tian Shu, I wouldn't have the chance to get involved in anything truly clandestine or face any real danger. <sighs> Alright, I'm done here. Time for me to go. 
I'm heading off again in a few days, and I still have to prepare. Where are you off to this time? As you might have guessed, <laughs> it's for me to know and you to find out. But I'm sure if you keep going as you are, getting yourselves involved in other people's business all the time, you're sure to get caught up in another misadventure before too long. Maybe I'll see you the next time, Danger Beckons. Until then, keep your wits about you. A lot of people are watching you for a lot of reasons. If you have any more questions, just ask Uncle Tian. After the recent turn of events, I'd say he owes you one, wouldn't you? In the last second, you have to bring up something important. A new name for the Hambenger. A new, I mean, a new Hambenger name. Well, that was it. Yellow story. And as per usual with this story quest, somehow we focus on NPC more than the set character story. Although I want to see some of them. Hmm. Wait, when did I make? So, consider how Violence is, and I'm really curious how she's gonna work with Xian Yun. Yeah, I'm gonna give one more pull. And we got another duel. Hey, I try. But inside of Yalan, I got a consideration for Barbara. And if I got the last one, I'm gonna have a revive effect. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one with the cookie, maybe. And yeah, aloha. <laughs>